Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Scene Podcast. This is the teaser for the show. I'm your host, Justin Borak, and I'm joined by my producer, KJ. KJ, how are you doing? Good, Justin. It's great to see you virtually. I'm so excited that we get to talk about what we've been working on the past couple of months. I know. It's been awesome. It's been like, what a wonderful project. And I know you're all listening to this. This is the first thing on our feed, and you're probably asking yourself, what is this and who are these people? And those are two fair questions. Very valid. Very, very valid question. I can introduce myself first. Um, I'm KJ. I, I work here at Broadway Licensing. I'm one of the play licensing associates. So if you have ever licensed a dramatist play service title, you've probably talked to me either through the phone or email. I also uh, do a bunch of podcasts. In fact, one of them is related to the National Film Registry. And so as I started to learn a little bit more about our titles here at Dramatist Play Service, I'm like, hey, why don't we have a podcast why aren't we talking mm-hmm. about theater why aren't we doing more to try to bridge that gap between you know non-theater people and theater people and oh yeah that's when i yeah. met you justin you know the perfect segue into introducing myself uh i'm i'm justin borak i'm a theater content creator uh you might know me from tiktok uh at mediocre jokes or the video saying here are three plays you probably haven't heard of and if you have let's be friends uh that's been like the thing that has kind of skyrocketed me to being known as like everyone's favorite theater librarian but on top of that i'm a playwright i'm published twice through uh play scripts uh with my titles community garden and cabin chronicles coming up and i am some i'm friends with a lot of people over at broadway licensing when kj brought this idea to them they brought me in to uh help facilitate because i also have a theater podcast play to z which is like a pretty well-known cool goofy theater podcast where i talk about theater with my friend erica but me and kj both kind of had the similar I- idea of like a theater podcast would be really helpful and we knew that the scene newsletter is just so popular so the team over at the scene our friend zach and everybody was like we would we would love a format of this but for people's ears instead of their eyes. Boom. And that's where we come in. That And that's the perfect description. Of, <laughs> and that's where we come in. It, it, it's the perfect description of the podcast. It's, if you like the scene newsletter, which we know a lot of people do, it's like, it's awesome. I've been reading it for years. This is that, but for your ear holes, that's the point. And for those that haven't read any of the scene and every, what can they expect from this show? Oh, oh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, KJ. So my favorite part about the scene, we kind of took like some of our favorite parts of the scene newsletter and then some parts for ourselves and we kind of mixed and matched them. So we were gonna, we still have a show you should know. Every single episode, we're telling you plays that you probably haven't heard of or musicals that you probably haven't heard of and letting you know what they are, where you can read them, why you should do them. And, and we talk about how it fits into schools, how it fits into professional theater, all of that stuff. It is really, really fun. Uh, we also have a segment that I made that I'm really proud of that we do every episode called Theater in a Minute, where uh, I basically just give you a history lesson in a couple minutes on like some type of theater, whether or some like theatrical personality or piece of theater history, like Anton Chekhov, the Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago, the beautiful, wonderful Annie Baker, who I am in love with. Any of those things, like just like giving you a little bit of uh, information, some education on your commute. It's very fun. Uh, and then we thought it would be fun if uh, KJ timed me through the whole thing. So Spoilers, it's never under a minute. <laughs> never under a minute. Theater There's in a just minute too much really... to talk about. <laughs> Theater in a Minute is a really catchy title, but then I find myself nerding out while I'm writing my script, and I never hit a minute. It's never, <laughs> it's never a minute. One day I'll hit it. It's very, very fun, educational. And then other, those are our two segments we do every episode. Other than that, we have some like really fun rotating segments. I have some fun guests that are like, other content creators like Liz Gutridge, who does a lot of like theater content on TikTok, or my friend Erica Kuhn from Play to Z. Uh, we're making con- we're making like segments together. KJ and I are gonna have some chatty segments. I have some other segments where I just like uh, talk about different types of theater or different things like that. And we're gonna be pulling in some interviews of playwrights, of educators, of uh, professional theater makers, people like that. Uh, to just bring in and chat with them about what they love about picking a season, what they love about picking specific plays, what plays they're reading, and what they think of the theater scene right now. If you have read this newsletter, you know that the newsletter has like a news segment and they have shows you should know and then a couple articles that are that the team at the scene, I guess our team, because we're a part of the scene now, um, that they write. And this is kind of like that. We have our shows you should know, we have our theater in a minute, our little educational segment. And then we just have some really wonderful rotating segments that are changing every single episode. 
the thing I love about our podcast is that like my podcast play to z is an hour plus every episode it's long and we do banter and it's goofy and it's a low edit show i was blessed to have one of the greatest editors i've ever worked with kj on the show and our show is a tight wonderful like 15 to 20 minutes it's perfect for our commute it is funny it's quick and i don't know i i'm really proud of what we built for this scene podcast i think it's awesome Justin, all of that sounds so exciting, but I think at this point people are wondering, when can I listen to The Scene? I have a perfect answer for you. The Scene podcast is going to be coming out November 13th, that's a Monday, and it'll be coming out every single Monday after that. Perfect for your commute, perfect for your week. Oh, baby, November 13th. I am so excited. Every single Monday. Even Christmas? Even cri- Oh, we're getting really excited for our holiday episode. Uh, just- Get excited for episode number eight because we're already talking about it and we're so, so pumped. This show is going to be perfect for your early morning commute. You can toss it on while you're driving, working, wherever you're going. It's meant to be short, palatable, piece of goofy theater educational content. Goofy theater educate. That's a good way to put it, right? G-T-E-C? G-T-E-C. We're making G-Tech. G-Tech. We're making G-Tech content. (laughs) <laughs> this show is going to be full of weird abbreviations that we make up on the spot. <laughs> We're going to keep you updated uh, if we make a social media page or anything like that. Hubs, that you can follow us at. But in the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram at Justin Borak. I'll be posting everything whenever we post a new episode, any updates on the show, anything like that. Um, yeah. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, please let me know. Until then, make sure you subscribe. We're going to be available on all podcasting platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, all of it. We're all there, baby. So go check us out wherever you want to listen to us. We're making it super easy for you to hear this podcast. Make sure you rate and leave comments on the show because the more you engage with the show, the more we'll be able to continue making this theater content that you love. I'm just so excited to be a part of the team here. I'm so excited to be a part of the ride. I love working with KJ so much. Oh, it's been like KJ is one of my favorite editors, producers I've ever worked with. So K- this is just me looking in the KJ's eyes and flexing on on KJ a little bit. And and here's me just looking back smitten and absolutely in, in awe of Mr. Borax. So. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to love this podcast. We have so much fun making it. We're just two theater nerds who were really, really excited to be reached out to by the scene to like help out and make this like audio form of their show, of their newsletter. I just I, I literally can't wait um yeah so i feel like we need to end this teaser the way we end every episode the way every scared freshman ends their first scene that they do in class when they're looking at their scary teacher in the front row should should we do this together yeah let's do it together okay ready all right ready one two three and scene. scene. See you Monday. <laughs> See you Monday. So good.